They don't want it. They want Moses to have the personal relationship, and the rest of the people, they say, no. We do not want to hear from God. We want to hear from the preacher so we can tell the preacher we don't want to hear from you. We don't like what you're preaching. They can't do that to God because God will just smile. Amen. Oh, you don't like what I listen? What I like? Boom! You're dead. <laughs> you ain't going to do what I say? Boom! You're dead. No, they want to buffer. That's why Jesus Christ came to this world and died for sinners. He is a buffer. You know what a buffer is? He's the middleman. He's what we would consider the negotiator. The consigliere. You got the father. He expects his law to be kept. You have the sinner. He don't want to do what the father says. So what does Jesus Christ say? I'll pay for all their sins. How much owe we? It's going to cost you your life. All your life, all your blood, everything. And God so loved the world, and Jesus loved the world, and Jesus said, okay, I'll die. Because these are a rebellious people right here. And 99% of them, the, 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 I mean, there's going to be a few that's going to go to heaven. Thank God for the few. When you get that number, let me know. The, the closest number I can come in with is 49.99999. That's not half. Half is 50%. So that's the most it could be is few. But the other 50% are going to hell. He said, I'm going to die for you anyway. Your sins don't send you to hell. You know what sends you to hell? You don't want to have a relationship with God. You don't want to have a relationship where God can talk to you. You're so scared of God, you want the preacher to talk to you because you know, I ain't got to listen to that fool. I just got to put up with him for 30 minutes. And that's all I need. And if I can put up with that fool for 30 minutes, I don't have to worry about God. I can at least say, I went to church, Lord. I came to church. Some people ain't satisfied with just coming to church. Some people actually want to have a relationship with God Almighty. Amen. John the Beloved laid his head on the breastplate of Jesus and listened to the heartbeat of Jesus. And that heartbeat would would say, would you put your hand on your, on your heart, you, you can hear that heartbeat. You can hear that heartbeat. You can feel it. Amen. You can feel the blood pumping in your veins. Mm -hmm. yeah. he's, he's listening to the, to the blood pump through our Savior, Jesus Christ, Amen. and he says, Amen. if I could get any closer, I would. Amen. If I could get any closer, I would. But these scaredy cats that have just witnessed all the plagues, watched Pharaoh's army drown, watched the preacher give them good, sweet water, gave them manna from heaven, amen, amen. gave them quail so they could eat. Amen. God says, I'd like to meet my people because I know they love me. It's like Elvis Presley, you know. I want to sign autographs, all right? Somebody come up here. I want to sign. Who would you like me to make it out to? <laughs> Elvis loves Susie. Sign Elvis Presley. Here you go. You can hang it on the wall. Here. Let's take a selfie. Come on now. Susie, take a selfie with me now. We're going to take a picture. Everybody's now. But you know what? The people don't want no selfie. Get that close.
close to God. Mm -hmm. Now, now, I'm going to sit in the, in the cheap seats. There's a new theater in uh, Sugarland. They got seats like uh, Woodlands Pavilion down in Woodlands. They got the seats for $39. You sit on the lawn. Anybody can go. And they got the $1,000 seats on the front row. Very few people willing or are willing to save up that much money to see a star that they like and pay $1,000 to handshake the star's hand take a selfie, huh? the whole nine yards, the VIP pass, as they call it. Nobody wants to do this with God. Mm. I want the cheap seats, God. Mm. I don't want to even be near you. Mm. I want to be so far back, i got to use binoculars just to see you. Amen? Yeah. Mm. And then they lie to the preacher. Oh, whatever God tells you, we'll do it. You liar. Mm. And we're going to find going to lie. Mm. Amen. Mm. Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God has come to prove you that this fear may be before your face and you sin not. And the people stood far off and draw, and Moses drew near in the thickness where God was. Mm. One man uh, one man that said, I think I want to be with God. I think I want to get a little closer to God. I think I, I, think I want to be just a little closer to Him. I think I'm willing to go even in the dark places, in the dark clouds. You see, there's thunder and lightning and smoke and, and earthquakes and everything in the world is going on. He said, I don't care. I want to be with God. I want to be with God. Amen. 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 You know, you get to choose Amen. how far close to God you want to be. Mm -hmm. God's over there, and some of you mm. are over here. Every once in a while, you poke out. Oh. <laughs> 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 <You're not funny. laughs> so I need brave enough to get out there. <laughs> I mean, and some of you want to get closer. Amen. But there are a few men that are willing to get as close to God as they can. Amen. There was a man walking with God. We talked about it in Genesis. He walked with him every day. And God finally just said, let's just go on. My house, my house. Is everybody wants to go to heaven. They just don't want to go today. Hmm. And the longer I live, the more I look at the markers and I keep noticing the lines are shorter. Hmm. It used to be like this. Hmm. You know, when I was young, I thought they were this wide. Now I look at them graveyard markers and they're like, and they look like this. Hmm. And I'm thinking, I'm getting a little bit closer toward the end. It's, I'm talking about your life on this earth is very, very short. Amen. Amen. So imagine you standing before God. He said, Did you go over to Brother Lupus Church? And you go, Yes, I did. And the first thing he's going to say is, I'm sorry. I, I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Now, let me ask you another question. He said, uh, between the numbers of one and a, from zero and a hundred, how would you rate yourself as being as close to me 
as I am to you. What number would you pick? Mm -hmm. From zero to a hundred, where would you stand between you and God? Mm -hmm. Now at the number is a low number. My advice is, why don't we try to get up a little bit? Amen. Amen. If you're in the middle, what, just try to get up a little bit more. If you will, then I know very few preachers that are. But I know you're very, very, very few Christians that are. They're up there, up there in the 90s. I mean, they're way up there. Mm -hmm. Even my advice for those that are there in the 90s, I would say, why don't you try to get just a little bit closer to the Lord? Amen. 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 And see if God doesn't come over. Peter, that was on the ship, I'm closing with this, he was on the ship, and the ship began to sink. And uh, they woke up Jesus. Jesus, sound asleep. He ain't God, man. He ain't got no worries. What are you going to do, drown? He ain't going to drown. Hey, wait a minute, don't you care about us? Mm. You know, come out, help us out. You know, I mean, it's storming. We all going to drown. <laughs> so he finally comes up. All right, I guess I got to get up. So he gets <laughs> up, gets on top of the boat, and says, Peace, be still. 